Pues ya está. Vamos a empezar. Ok, so, lo siento, pero yo creo que vamos a, a estar de pie. Can we do this? Can we start on our feet? Is it possible? Ok. So, vamos a poner la pelota aquí. And so, from here, everybody, just take a second to um, ground your weight. So, I'm going to do that by pushing into my feet and letting my knees bend. And as your knees bend, I want you to imagine that you can actually spread the tissues of your feet. Get a little bit wider, a little bit longer. And then also también vamos a mover, you're gonna move your weight from your talones to las plantas de pie. So with your tailbone down, reaching towards your heels with your abdominales adentro, see about just moving your weight adelante y atrás por los pies. So see if you can just move your weight forward and back through los pies. Muy, muy, muy bien. Good, so now pause for a moment. I just want you to make your weight just shift, tiny, tiny, tiny. So imagine you can keep your hombros, your costillas, your cadera junta. You're gonna keep all those parts junta, junta, and then shift your weight from one foot to the other. You could even pick up the foot just like an inch. So just these tiny movimientos para empezar. I always think you can start so small, smaller than you think you can start. Good, good, good. So now, go ahead and pause, and you're going to move your muslos atrás, and then bring your two arms adelante, and then elbows in a tu lado. So here we go. You're going to reach the thighs back. Now pull the elbows in. So just a small movement. Let the palms come right here to your hips, so you can Feel that kind of base where your center of gravity is sentado en el bal, en el cuerpo, sentado allá. Um, I told Gala, but I didn't tell anybody else. We saw Brahman and I encountered a moccasin today, a water moccasin. Not the kind you wear, but the kind that swim in creeks. That was pretty exciting for me, not for her, not so much. All right, so now from here, let's go ahead, una pausa. You're gonna just push through the feet and you're gonna take that tiny little, just continue to ground, empujando por los pies. You're pushing into the feet as your espalda inferior está moviendo atrás. You're moving the lumbar spine back, abdominales adentro. Good, so then from here, let's go ahead and add a reach of the arms out and then bring your fingertips together. So the Brazos abiertos y brazos cerrados. Uh, taking this just a few times, feeling your también pecho abierto, la vicula abierto, la escapula juntas. You're pulling your scapula together as your weight floats back flotando atrás. Muy bien. So now let's go ahead and pause down here with the arms wide and take that tiny little movement through your shoulders Checking in with your neck. So, Gala, si quieres, that vueltitas aquí, you can just turn the neck lado y lado a few times, making sure arms are working, shoulders are working, without putting a lot of pressure on the neck. Muy bien. So now from here, let's go ahead, move the thighs back, arms adelante. Exhale all the way up, estirando la columna. So your arms are going to reach out forward. Exhale, coming up, arms a tu lado. So you're gonna bring arms adelante, brazos a tu lado. Good, as the thighs move back. Super bien, good. Try this just a few times. Now if it feels nice, you can kind of add a lift of the heels, fingertips, adelante, good, sobre la cabeza, and then talones arriba, you can lift your heels. Super, super bien. Very nice. Oh, una persona viene. Hola, Joanne. All right, so then from here, let's go ahead. You're gonna take opposite mus elbow to thigh, codo a muslo. Good, estirando arriba, arriba. And then exhaling para bajar. Inspirando arriba, exhale, reaching down. Keeping, again, this twist. 
por las cosillas. You always want to feel yourself twisting through your um, rib cage mientras moviendo los muslos y la cadera atrás, right? The thighs move back. And again, the base of the abdominal wall holds your lumbar spine steady mientras while you're twisting. Good. So now let's hold down here for just a moment. This is my left elbow, my right thigh. I want you to do a little check-in with your neck. Down, mirando abajo y arriba. A couple more times. Very nice. And then from here, subimos otra vez. And then let's try that on the other side. This is my right codo and my muslo derecho. And then from here, down and up. Super, super, super bien. Just chequeando en el cuello. And then let's bring ourselves all the way up and then stepping your feet just a little bit wide. So bend through two knees, let your fingertips come down and then push your weight into one side then the other. So you wanna feel, again, you spread the feet. You're feeling your weight transfer from one leg to the other leg. Coming down just a little bit low. When your palms come together, feel your center again reignited. And it feels so good. Good. Just a few more times here. Estirando, bajando. Very nice. So now let's go ahead once again. Pause in the center. And then exhale, sweep your arms. All the way adelante. Good. Sobre la cabeza. Super bien. Just a few movements to warm up. Feel your sangre moviendo por el cuerpo. Good. Feeling the blood moving through your body. And then from here, let's go ahead. Exhale. Bring your hands to your low back for a moment. Estiramos adelante. And tú puedes sacudir la cabeza. You can shake your head. Y negar también con la cabeza también. All right, and then from there, let's empujamos por los pies. You push through the feet and bring yourself all the way up. Turn your, these are my right toes, might be your left toes out. I want you to exhale, and we're going to stretch towards your espanilla, and then you're going to bend and stretch away. So, esperando en esta dirección. And then out and away. Good. Feel the bottom rib cage stay really long. Mientras moviendo. So this base from the ribs to the hips, we want to feel that connection stay long. So you're not compressing the side body there, but instead estirando. Good. So now let's hold down here for a moment on bottom. And you can take the top, this is actually your bottom arm. Your brazo, abajo, arriba. Good. And just feeling your bicep. This is often I think we think of like muscles of just working in isolation. Like here's a movement. But your muscles work in all kinds of different ways. Super bien. So now from here, exhale, let's come onto the other side. Dando una vueltita. Con otro pie. And then from here, once again, stretching over through a trikonasana type situation and then exhaling, moving away. I think this is what we did, más o menos. Good. So when you feel your knee bend, open your thigh bone, your muslo afuera. So you're going to open the thigh out while the knee bends so that. Um, we don't collapse through the arch of the foot. Good. And then from here, let's make this the last one. Let's hang out down here for a momentito. Again, stretching your rib cage long. So from ribs to hips, we're really creating más espacio. Good. And now this bicep is going to lift and lower the bottom arm. Good. Taking that just a few times. Three and two. And one, very nice. Come all the way up. So now I've turned 
todos los dedos del pie adelante. So they're turned forward and now you're going to reach opposite hand to toe. Again, creating your... ¿Qué quieres? Oh, I don't know if you can hear that gala, but Brahman is saying, a gala? Dile hi. Gala? Gala? All right, so again, twisting through your ribs all the way. Excellent. So now let's go ahead, pause up here on top one more time, and then you're gonna exhale, let your sternum come forward, and then doblamos, you're just melting from the top of your head. So now I'm gonna lift my head up, and I'm gonna fold through my knees, and también por los codos. You're gonna fold through the knees, Fold through your elbows. She's waking up a little lengthening. I want you to focus here for a moment on the backs of the legs. So hopefully you feel your quadricep muscles right at the kneecap, waking up, doing the bending. Good, so that you're not hyperextending the knees, but instead really getting some blood flow. Circulación. All right, so then from here, Una pausa. Let's turn towards, I'm going to my right leg. It might make more sense for you to go to your left or do the thing that feels easiest for you. So from here, I'm gonna step that leg back, draw my two knees down, open my chest, elbows pull in, and then back. So again, just waking up a few little push-ups. Desde los abdominales. Good, two. And one, hold yourself lifted for a moment, and then the knee closest to the computer screen, down and up. Five, four, and three, two, and one, good. And then from there, just take the toes up, and then down, up, and down, up, and down, then down. So you should feel that glute to hamstring connection as the toe taps the floor and then stretches, reaches away from it. And then hold the whole leg up, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Holding the leg up, see if you can now lower your chest and come right back up. Here we go, five, and exhale, four. Exhale, three, and two, and one. Super bien, lowering that down, lifting your two hips all the way up. And then from here, you're going to step the leg furthest from the computer screen forward behind that hand. So you're back in like a Pado Tanasana. And then vamos a dar una vueltita. You're going to just twist, rotate opposite side of the mat and step the foot furthest from the screen back. So now two knees down. And then por las, o los codos otra vez. And you're going to try to keep your head lifted as you move. So you really feel the muscles in your back, musculos in la espalda trabajando. Very nice. Hold here for just a moment, and then you're gonna lift the knee closest to the screen. Down and up. Here we go. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Now holding that leg up, you're gonna just tap the toes. Down and up. Five. So feeling that all the way through the glute and hamstring. It's really just a reach of the foot out. Two and one. Now holding that leg up, down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. And then codos adentro otra vez. Here you go. Three and two and one. Excellent. Lift your two hips. Adamukha Svabhasana otra vez. Good. So now that, again, toes furthest from the screen, are gonna step towards the foot. And then from here, we're gonna turn all the way back into a Prado Tanasana. Excellent, and then bring yourself all the way up, levantado. Try from here, hopping hands and feet in, hopping hands and feet up. Adentro, afuera. Good, light on your knees, light through your feet, toe ball heel, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Can you hold this out and hop through the feet? 
five, four, three, two, one. Can you hold in that hop, raise one foot, and then let your sitting bones come down? Five, four, three, two, one. Otro lado, lifting your heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Dos laditos, arriba. Five, four, three, two, one. Heels down. One codo abajo, and then your other. So again, big reach through the ribs. Por las costillas. Arriba y abajo. Otra vez. Very nice. Good. And then from here, let's pause. Push through the feet. Step your feet in, and so you're going to move to the back side of the right side of your mat. So here we go. Or, I'm sorry. My right side is facing the computer to help you orient. All right. So now inhale. Thighs back, arms forward. Palmas in los muslos. And then your cabeza arriba. Coccyx arriba. And then doblamos. So here you go. Inhale, big stretch up. Exhale, bajando. Inhale, big stretch up. Exhale, bajando. One more time. Inhale, big stretch up. And then from here, we need to slide your hands down to your espinillas. And then exhale, the arms reach out and down. Cinco y cuatro y tres y dos y uno. Muy bien. Nos ponemos los manos. In el piso, and then you're going to let the head come down. Now let your sitting bones come as close to your talones as you can go. So, isquiones sobre los talones. All right, and then you can Dr. Seuss that in your mind for a while. Isquiones sobre los talones. Good. Take this just a few times. Dos, tres más, como no. And then from here, go ahead, pushing your feet, letting your weight stay here for a moment. See if you can lift the thighs an inch. Take them right back down, up, and then down, up. Feel that deep in the belly, and then down. Through again, low quadriceps, two and one. Now hold those sitting bones right above your talones, your heels, for three, two, one. Set the knees down. Oh. I will feel some of those things. Más tarde. All right, so now I'm putting a blanket here in the center of my mat, and then I'm gonna walk my rodillas encima. So now, brazos adelante, and then your thighs, muslos atrás. Try that again, and then see if you can come up into almost a little micro back bend. So, muslos atrás y arriba. Muy bien. Muslos atrás, brazos adelante. Good. Let's try that one more time. I always put my hands here on my low back to check in. What the heck is going on back there? Super bien. And now from here, see if you can create a little drop back. So this is the movement of your torso from your knee joints, right? So you're reaching all the way back the head and your tail stay lined up so you can try this. With one hand at de la cabeza, and then your other hand at your espalda inferior. Good, and then you can lower down and up. Just dos, tres más. Changing the position of your hands when you feel ready. Good. Your navel should be moving towards your lumbar. Very nice. Good. This might feel tricky, so you can put two hands behind your head. Exhale right back up. Dos manos detrás de la cabeza y arriba. Dos manos y arriba. Dos manos. Good. So now from here, pull your elbows in. This is the headstand position. We're not going to do a headstand right now unless that's what your body needs. But instead, try letting your clothes come down to the floor. Exhale, stretching up, opening your chest. So your codos abajo, and then all the way up. Codos abajo, good. And then all the way back up, very nice. Codos abajo, 
Leave your kodos there, leave your um, elbows on the floor. Exhale, lift your knees, lift the hips. Good, and now from here, let the two knees come down once again. And we're gonna let the sternum reach towards the floor and exhale, pull right back up. So imagine your two thumbs, your pulgares, are right in line with your clavicula, with your um, clavicle. And you're gonna let your heart reach towards your two pulgares. You're gonna reach the heart towards the thumbs. And then hold your weight there for a moment. And then exhale, push back with all you got. Okie dokie, cinco mas, como no? Here we go. Five, y arriba. Good, four, really feel your heart floating over your thumbs. Never said that before in my life. Here we go, tres. Y arriba. And dos. Y arriba. Now, can you hold your corazón right there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Set your cadera down. So set the um, hips on your mantita and your blanket. And then you can rest your head here on your hands. And then we're going to lift the two legs. So pull your ombligo, your navel in. And lift the two legs just back behind you here a few times. Feeling your femur, your femoral is floating up y abajo. Good, arriba y abajo. Arriba y abajo y arriba. Very nice. So now you're gonna take opposite heel to sitting bone. Talon a isquillon. Right, so just switching your legs here a few times, waking up the strength in the backs of the legs. Muy, muy, muy bien. Good, so now I'm gonna cross my left leg over my right, and I'm gonna let my legs kind of leg wrestle themselves here a few times. So, los, las piernas, doblando y esterando, right? So you're crossed, the top leg is pushing down, the bottom leg is pushing up, yeah, let's do that one more time. Change that cruce and then let's do it again. So, empujando por the pierna arriba y empujando también por la pierna abajo. Good, try that one more time. Excellent, so now with your feet, Cross like this. Just have fun with me for a moment. Can you put one hand at a foot? Como no? Otro. And then see about your feet coming together. While you do that, you can fold the elbows and lift your chest and heart. If this is going fantastically, you can try this as a cross at the arms as well. And just kind of tie yourself into a little I don't know, cosita, well not. And from there, see about just getting an extra stretch through the front of the hip. Let's change the position first of the legs and then see. It's really awesome to try to do this kind of crossed pattern stuff when you can't see. Um, it kind of helps you wake up proprioception. Right, so just kind of play, seeing if you can find where your limbs are. Good, and then stretching there. Shouldn't be totally intuitive, it should be a little bit difficile. And then you can change the position of the hands. Ooh, exhaling, esterando, esterando. Good, so now go ahead, lowering your two legs out, push through the hands, exhale, lift the hips. And let's stretch your back out a little. Vamos a estirar la columna. So take your um, left mano to your right muslo, slide the hand down, and a big twist. Good. Vamos a hacer lo otro lado. So just try that same thing on the other side. Opposite hand to your espinilla. Dando una vueltita. Very, very, very nice. So you're like gonna pull the colo afuera, pull the elbow out, and stretch in between 
the columna and the escapula. Good, and then that hand's gonna come down. So now I'm gonna pivot and lower the hips just down to the mat for a moment. So let's work a little bit on our abdominales. So you're gonna let the lumbar spine move in, esperando adelante, stretching all the way forward. And then exhale, let's move all the way back. So inhale, you can even, as you create a little resistance through the thighs, through the hands, let the spine extend, estira adelante. Good. Now pushing through the hands once again, creating a little resistencia while you lower back. Here we go. So when they, they talk about this in yoga and in Pilates and in physical therapy, when you're pushing in, when your limbs are connected to something, they call it closing the chain. And that helps you create a little bit more resistance. So let's play with that for a second. El pecho adelante. Empujando por los pies. Your weight is on your isquiones, but you're stretching your pecho adelante. And now pushing through the hands, you're coming back. You should feel the abdominal wall really connected. Now through this hand, extend your leg más cerca del ordenador. Good. And then exhale, abrimos otra vez. You're going to open the chest and move forward. Good, and then exhale, coming back. Now this opposite leg, this is my pierna derecha, your right leg, let it lift, también. And then abrimos otra vez. You're gonna open your chest, move your ribs closer to your um, shins, your espinillas. Good. And from here, vamos a hacerlo otra vez. You're going to push all the way back. Now lift two legs and hold this for just a few breaths. Your quadriceps are working. Weight in your isquiones todavía. Good. And then from here, vamos a esperar adelante. You're going to stretch forward. Good. Moving the hips forward. Excellent. So then now pushing back once again. Let's see if you can tap your toes down, lift the arms up, and then a reverse. So you're going to lower the arms as the legs lift. Okay, so see if we can do this just a couple more times. Feeling strong through your center. Three, and two, and one. Very nice. Hold here. Now the arms come up also. Let's see if we can be here for... 20 minutes, 20 minutos, podemos hacerlo? Muy bien. Okay, so now let your feet come down, una broma. All right, push through the feet once again and send your cadera arriba. Good, bajamos la cadera, you're gonna lower the hips, come onto the forearms, left ankle, right thigh, push through the arms, exhale, lift the pelvis. Good. Lowering that down, extend your bottom shin. See if the legs can float down and up here. Just a few times. Very nice. Three. Good. Let's do two more. Como no? And one. Very nice. And now we'll lower that leg. Your tobillo derecho and muslo izquierdo. Good. And then again, pushing through the arms, subiendo. Pelvis arriba. Good. Let's try that one more time. Arriba. Pushing down through your antebrazos. Pushing down through the forearms. Good. And then from here, we're going to lower that. Let the bottom shin extend. And then let the thighs, your legs, move down and up just a few times. Good. If your neck starts to bug you for whatever reason, Two things, look at the ab abdomen, that will always help. <sighs> Watching yourself kind of work. It's called in Pilates gaze facilitation. And then um, the other thing you can do is just come down to the mat. Is that enough? Suficiente, no? So now let your two uh, knees move to your one side a la derecha. And then otro lado a la izquierda, lo que sea. 
All right, so taking that just a few times, esperando profundamente. Good, and then from here, you're gonna let the head come all the way down, pull your shoulder blades together behind you, and exhale, let the arms float to your sides, and then alongside the ears, exhale, lifting the legs up. So trying this just a few times. I want you to really feel that your low back is secure because you're protecting it with the abdomen. So you don't want to push too much tanto tanto. Uh, so now let's hold your arms at your sides, your legs lifted, take your gaze to your belly for a moment and now try floating the arms alongside the ears and then bajando otra vez. Good, so you're gonna take the arms arriba and then down, abajo. Arriba, and then abajo, so that one more time. Arriba, lower the legs, push through the feet, and now this time your pelvis, arriba, and then your arms alongside your ears. So you're just keeping that gentle flow of movement. Apoyándote. Good. Okay, so now go ahead and stretch your two legs back out once again. Good, and you're gonna let them lift and lower just a few inches from here. So feeling again, long through the rib hip connection. So you don't wanna feel the abdominal bulging too, too much. You wanna feel the belly pulling in. Mientras las piernas están bajando subiendo. Good, so now hold the two muslos, hold your legs up, push through your arms, and let the toes float down. Sobre la cabeza, over your head. So now I'm gonna let my arms come alongside my ears, let the two legs come down, and then reversing that, seeing if the pelvis wants to lift, right? And the action is about getting the abdominal wall to do the heavy lifting of the pelvis, not taking the weight with your hands and throwing the pelvis in the air. Okay, so let's try this one, two, three more times. Yo no sé. It's flexible Friday. Viernes flexible. Good. I think, I hope. Here we go. So then from here, go ahead, pause with your toes up. And now you can take your hands. So the forearms lift and move to the hips. Right, if that feels okay. Now the knees are gonna come over your hips. And you can try this just a few times, right? I'm gonna take my knees to my ojos and then exhale, lift them. Good, so you're giving some weight there. La cadera should be resting in your hands. Your hips are resting in your hands. Knees down and up. Don't break your nose. Move it suave, 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 suavecito. And then from here, take the shin bones up if you like. So again, just practice those little movements. Little movements make big yoga poses. I'll try this one more time. And then if it feels okay, you could walk your hands down your back a little bit more. Sarvangasana. This is shoulder stand. And then from here, you could lower the knees back down, lower your antebrazos, lower your forearms back down, come back through a little halasana, and then lower your feet to the mat. So let's clear that out of the necks by pulling your elbows in and letting the top of your head come down. Or your jungle, your ponytail, Good, so this, the idea is here, the front of your throat is stretching. La garganta esperando. Good, and also the back of your neck, your cervical spine. Good, so taking a little break. And then from there, you could lift your feet off of the floor, extend the legs if you wanted, giving it just a few breaths. And from there, doblando también, lowering your knees, letting your head come back down to the mat. So now let's try just another little uh, 
Setu Bandha Sarvangasana can be a tricky pose. You want to take a gentle journey, right, into whatever pose you're getting into. So it's not a forced or aggressive movement into something, but instead a found experience, right? So now let your arms come back down to your side, then you can push into your feet. Before you do any other lifting here, just take the arms down and up a few times. And feel your shoulder blades really pulling together. Good, so from this position, now you could walk one heel closer to the hand and then your opposite heel closer to the hand and even get the shoulder blades a little closer together, your weight a little more deeply anchored in your pies. And then from there, you're gonna lower the hips and pelvis back down once again. You can practice coming down and up here a lot of times, right? Just getting comfortable with that movement, finding your range of motion. Or you could take your arms alongside the ears, float the hands under your shoulders, and then try this with me again, gentle journey into a challenging pose. So if you just lift the hips, try that a few times, waking up that sense of strength. And then from there, you might find that you could lift the whole spine and ex sounds the top of your head, right? So you're lifting the whole spine up. And then if you've tried that and taken the weight on the head, that's all comfortable. Then you can push into the hands and let the top of the head come to the floor. You could then stretch and lengthen the elbows out, lower back down, right? So again, there's a journey into a challenging pose, not a thing you're trying to force so go from the place that makes sense. Es lógico para tu cuerpo. Take a couple more big breaths here. And then bajamos. Lower that all the way back down. I know, vamos, let's do a little twist. So you're gonna open the arms into a T-shape and then stretch your feet toward one hand, moving the thighs down opening your chest good vamos a hacerlo otro lado so now you're going to take your feet towards the opposite hand i gotta slide a little from this wall and then same thing you're going to reach your shoulder blades into the floor take your gaze in opposition here Uh, once again, bending your two knees. And then from here, bring your hands to your feet for just a moment. And then you can take opposite hand to foot, just stretching deeply through the hamstring. Good, you can let that little leg move out just a hair. As you keep your hand on the opposite foot, try to keep the torso balanced. Mientras esperando. So while you're stretching, keep your torso nice and balanced so the weight of your torso isn't traveling with the leg. It's in fact moving almost opposite and down. Good, so feeling from the base of the ribs, you are moving that center energy inward. Good, so then from there, let's go ahead, doblando, you're bending through both knees. And then we're gonna try a little stretch of two legs out. So bring your mind for a moment to your sacrum. Notice if your sacrum's real curled up. See if you can move it down, a little closer to the floor, stretching your femorales, your hamstrings out, and the shoulder blades, omoplatos juntos. After another big breath there, go ahead, pause for a moment, bringing your two feet sobre el pecho and then you can let the feet come a little bit closer to either your pecho or your cara that's the big stretch of the hips excellent so let me do a little oh this is nice all right so now let's go ahead come back so you're still on your back you're going to let your right ankle come to your left thigh 
And then bring your hands here back behind the left thigh or your left calf. And again, you can kind of let that femur bone float either down or up, lo que tu quieras. Very, very, very nice. Try that one more time. Good. And then let's go ahead, exhale, switch the position of the two legs. You're going to take the left shin in towards the right thigh, hands here back behind this thigh, and then let, or calf, pantoria, lo que tu quieras. And then from there, you're going to let the muslo come un poco más cerca. Let's move it a little bit closer. You can add stretch here by letting the ball of the foot move away from the heel. So that's going to stretch your calf and also your plantar fascia. Good. And then from there, go ahead, let's unfold the two legs. And then see about taking your right ankle once again to your left thigh. And then you're going to take your right hand to your left ankle. This should stretch your right external rotators. So you're gonna feel this stretch as um, your left ankle comes closer to your right knee. You're gonna feel that in the right hip, yes? Good. Imagine you have a nice little baby elephant standing on your ankle here. Good, so now let's reverse that. You're gonna take left ankle to your right thigh and then let the right ankle move towards your left knee. So this will look and feel different for everyone, but the idea is that you're gonna get a big stretch in the external rotator, but on the left side now, so you should feel it there. Good. And once again, this idea of getting your left hand, touching your right foot, et cetera, is really good for the cross patterning in your brain. So now try this with me. I'm gonna take two hands to my two big toes, but it's opposite. So I've crossed up the thighs, and I want you to flex your feet and then reach your thighs away from your torso. So this should help you stretch your IT band. and the outsides of your legs. Let's go ahead and try that. Otro lado. Good, so now I've just changed the cross of the thighs here. And then I'm gonna push out into my feet. Stretching, stretching, stretching. Trying again to kind of move my sacrum down. Uh, reaching out through the thighs. Excellent, so now leave your feet in this position. So you've crossed up the thighs, my left is over my right. And then exhale, create some twisting here by letting the knees, están flotando una dirección y otra. Good, and you can push through your bottom foot to help you connect more to your abdomen. Good, so just a little bit of twisting. Haciendo espacio para la cena. Making space for your dinner. And then vamos a hacer, you're gonna, um, cambiamos la, you know, cruce, un cruce de las piernas. And then you're gonna keep that just gentle twisting. Lado y lado. Very, very, very nice. Good, and then so from here, now I just invite you to do anything you haven't done. I think this is also a very, um, might feel relaxing. You can take your knees one way, opposite elbow and arms, or move opposite your two knees. And your head can turn with your arms. So you're just getting a little, opposition. You can also let the arms move over the head, freeing up your shoulder joints. Good. So now pause with your two arms up if you want again or just do your own sort of free movement here but this is kind of nice for head 
shoulders, it's the sideline arm clock. So you can kind of pretend that your top arm is the hand of a clock. And you're going to touch all those numeros. Todos los numeros. Abriendo el pecho. Estirando el hombro. Cambiamos la dirección. You'll change the direction going back through time. Or forward in time. Good. So now I want you to pause with the arm back and then lift your um, top leg up and just stretch for a moment your cadera. So you're stretching this top so ad. Good. Now the top leg is going to move in front and your top arm moves back. Estirando aquí un ratito. Good. Let's let that leg come down. And then you're going to try that same thing. You're just going to roll to the opposite side and you're going to let the top arm circle, sideline arm clock. So if you feel tightness in your shoulder, you can always. Um, Soften the elbow, right? And also for those of us who have hypermobility in your shoulders, it's a good idea to keep a little softness in your limbs. Good. So if you've changed directions, gone both ways, now take the top hand and foot together and really stretch the hip. Good. And then the top leg can move forward, top arm can move back, and we'll just get a little twist in here. And then let's come to rest for a moment on our backs. Place your hands on the low abdomen. And then from here, you're going to send energy into the low part of your belly. So inhale down deep in between your hips and your pubic synthesis. You can put your hands on those bones there just to feel. So really watch your breath travel as lowly as it can go Lee. And then move your hands to your ribs, manos a las costillas, and then open your ribs so with your breath. So you'll inhale fully. Exhale completely. So now, vamos a then you're going to put your hands um, on your heart and your lungs. And I want you to breathe deeply, moving the tissue around the hearts and the lungs as much as you can. So opening, expanding in the chest. Now allow your arms to come to your sides for just a few breaths. So watching the air move through you, el aire moviendo por el cuerpo. Letting each exhale get a little longer.
And then when you feel ready, just begin to wiggle. Moviendo un poco los dedos de la mano, dedos de pie. And then taking your arms up, estirando completamente. Yeah. And then reaching your two knees, rodillas sobre el pecho. Your knees over your chest. And then girando, turning to one side, pushing through the hands, coming up. Amigos, amigas, todo el mundo. Tu práctica es un regalo. Muchas gracias. You all, your practice is a gift. Thank you oh so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening and your week off. You also, namaste, thank you. Namaste.